In the vast expanse of space, where countless stars twinkle in the dark void, one star holds a special place in our hearts and lives, the Sun. As the centerpiece of our solar system, the Sun is not merely a brilliant orb of light. It is a complex and dynamic entity that shapes the very fabric of our existence. Spanning about 1.4 million kilometers in diameter, the Sun accounts for over 99% of the solar system's mass, exerting a gravitational pull that binds the planets, asteroids, and comets in their orbits, creating a cosmic ballet that has persisted for billions of years. But what lies beneath its glowing surface? What processes fuel this mighty star? And how does the Sun influence the myriad forms of life on Earth? Join us as we embark on an exploration of the Sun, our star, and its profound impact on the solar system. The Sun is a massive ball of hot plasma, primarily composed of hydrogen, about 74%, and helium, approximately 24%. At its core, nuclear fusion occurs at staggering temperatures exceeding 15 million degrees Celsius. Here, hydrogen atoms collide with such force that they fuse to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. This energy, in the form of photons, begins a long journey outward through the radiative zone where it can take thousands of years to reach the surface. In this dense region, energy is transferred via radiation, where photons are absorbed and re-emitted countless times, slowly working their way to the outer layers. Above the radiative zone lies the convective zone, where energy is transported more efficiently through convection currents. In this layer, hot plasma rises to the surface, cools, and then sinks back down to be reheated, creating a dynamic cycle that contributes to the sun's surface features. Once it reaches the photosphere, the visible surface of the sun, it is emitted as sunlight, bathing our solar system in warmth and light. Above the photosphere lies the chromosphere, a thin layer that can be seen during a total solar eclipse as a reddish glow, this layer is characterized by solar prominences, huge, looped bursts of plasma that rise and fall in the sun's atmosphere, and spicules, which are short-lived jets of gas. Beyond this is the corona, the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere, which extends millions of kilometers into space. The corona can reach temperatures exceeding 1 million degrees Celsius, much hotter than the surface itself, this phenomenon is a subject of intense study. Scientists are working to understand how such high temperatures are achieved as it defies conventional expectations of stellar physics. The energy produced by the sun is not only crucial for life on Earth, it also drives the dynamic systems of our solar neighborhood. Sunlight provides the energy necessary for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into food, forming the foundation of the terrestrial food web. This solar energy drives weather patterns, ocean currents, and the very climate we experience. Without the sun, Earth would be a frozen, lifeless world, incapable of supporting any form of life. The sun's gravitational force governs the orbits of the planets, ensuring their stability and allowing for the intricate dance of celestial mechanics. As we orbit the Sun at an average distance of about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers, it is the Sun's light and heat that create the conditions for life as we know it. However, the Sun is not a static entity. It is a dynamic and ever-changing star. Solar activity can manifest in various forms, including sunspots, temporary regions on the sun's surface that appear dark due to their lower temperatures, typically around 3,000 to 4,000 degrees Celsius. Sunspots are associated with the sun's magnetic field and often occur in cycles known as the solar cycle, which lasts about 11 years. During periods of high activity, solar flares, 
sudden bursts of energy, can erupt from the sun's surface, releasing intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. These flares can unleash energy equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs, impacting satellite operations and even power grids on Earth. Coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, are larger events where significant amounts of plasma and magnetic field are expelled into space. These solar storms can propel billions of tons of charged particles into the solar wind, creating spectacular displays of the northern and southern lights when they interact with Earth's atmosphere. However, they also pose risks to technology, disrupting satellites, navigation systems, and even causing power outages. The history of solar activity is filled with examples of such events. The Carrington event of 1859 remains one of the most powerful geomagnetic storms recorded, affecting telegraph systems and illuminating the night sky with auroras as far south as the Caribbean. The interaction between the sun's solar wind and Earth's magnetic field creates a protective shield known as the magnetosphere. This magnetosphere deflects much of the solar wind, protecting life on Earth from harmful solar radiation. However, during periods of intense solar activity, some charged particles can penetrate this barrier, resulting in geomagnetic storms. These storms can disrupt technology and infrastructure, affecting satellites, power grids, and communication systems. Scientists continuously monitor solar activity through spacecraft like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, and the Parker Solar Probe, which allows us to better predict and prepare for solar events that could impact life on Earth. As the Sun continues its life cycle, it will undergo significant changes that will impact the entire solar system. Currently in the middle of its life, the Sun has been shining for about 4.6 billion years and is expected to last for approximately another 5 billion years. Eventually, it will exhaust its hydrogen fuel, transitioning into the red giant phase. During this time, the Sun will expand dramatically, potentially engulfing the inner planets, including Mercury and Venus. This process will not only transform the solar system, but also create conditions where the remaining planets will experience extreme heating, altering their atmospheres and surface environments. After this phase, it will shed its outer layers, creating a stunning planetary nebula. The core will contract into a white dwarf, an incredibly dense remnant, roughly the size of Earth, but with a mass similar to that of the Sun. This white dwarf will gradually cool over billions of years, fading into a cold, dark object in the cosmos. This stellar life cycle not only transforms the Sun, but also contributes to the cosmic recycling of elements. The materials ejected during the Sun's later stages will enrich the interstellar medium with heavier elements, creating the building blocks for future stars and planets. The Sun's gravitational pull not only governs the orbits of the eight major planets, but also influences countless smaller bodies, including asteroids and comets. The asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune are both shaped by the Sun's gravity, affecting their trajectories and interactions. Additionally, the Sun's radiation and solar wind play a crucial role in the dynamics of these bodies, influencing their physical properties and behaviors over time. Comets, for example, develop tails when they approach the Sun, as solar energy vaporizes their icy cores, releasing gas and dust into space. The interplay between solar energy and these celestial bodies continues to be a field of active research, revealing the complex relationships that define our solar system. Throughout history, the Sun has held a prominent place in human culture. Ancient civilizations revered the Sun, often personifying it as a god or deity. The Egyptians worshipped Ra, the god of the Sun, while the Inca honored Inti, 
believing that the sun was the source of life and agriculture. Temples and monuments were built to align with solar events, such as solstices and equinoxes, reflecting humanity's deep connection to this celestial body.